Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to um, create a tab layout for your Android application. So here I have the tab layout set up um, in my Android virtual machine. So um, they have three tabs, artists, songs, and albums. And uh, as you see, different tabs will display different content. And um, so uh, let's dive in. Open Eclipse and create a new Android project and let's name it um, Tab Layout. Let's choose the target to be Android 2.2. Um, change this application name and make the package be um, My Name and Tab Layout. Okay, it's over here. So, um, First thing first, let's create the um, the main layout for Let's switch to the uh, code tab. So um, we don't need that text view. Instead of the linear layout, we want to tap host at the, uh, the root of our layout of the uh, XML layout. So and then inside we will have the linear layout and we will set it um, set the orientation to be vertical and uh, we're going to expand the whole width and height so few parents and then we will High layout high. View parent. And inside the linear layout, we create a uh, tab widget. So um, the tab widget, we will give it the ID. Be equal to um, Android ID um, tap. The next thing we want to do is to set the layout width to be view parent and the layout height. We wrap content the next thing is the frame layout the frame layout also is inside the linear layout so let's give it the ID the um, Android ID uh, I mean the forward, forward slash tab content um, we will expand the whole width and high. So we have Android layout high view parent and uh, let's change these properties to the ID and name it post okay so this is the um, gen gen generic um, layout for the tab in Android so we have the tab host at the uh, root node of the layout and then uh, the tab widgets in the frame layout is uh, inside the tab host and uh, the tab host must have an ID of uh, um, at Android ID tab host uh, and the same for the widget tab widget in the frame, frame, frame layout the tab widget must be this ID and the frame layout must be this ID because um, these are the ID that defined in the Android namespace and um, when you compile the program it will be recognized right away and um, um, the 
the the um, virtual machine will know that the tapped the ID tapped will be for the um, the tap indicator and the tap content is where they put the content of the tap in it so um, after we've done that let's go back to our um, um, package and create uh, another three class um, yeah another three activities for each of the tab so we have artist activity and then we have another one is uh, songs and albums so song activity and album activity albums activity now um, for each of them we're going to extend activity and set up a very simple layout for them we just display um, some text so public boy on um, create so we call the create method save instant state and we'll call the super on create let's import this and um, let's create a text view text view and let's uh, set the text to be um, in this case the album content and then we call set content view to um, to make this layout to be um, the layout for our activity so set content view text view that's it so what it what it will do is as you see here um, it will just show a very very simple text for our content and let's copy this for all three of them they are very similar extend activity and we will paste it in and change this to be songs say this will be extend activity paste it in and let's change this to be artist <coughs> so after we're done with everything let's go back to our main activity they made it something very wrong you know I accidentally um, moved the main activity to this uh, generated uh, file so let's yes so let's see if we I think that's still good. Um, all right, so th this is our main activity. This is the one that get called when we open our application. Um, in here, let's create a tab post. Okay, so um, in Android, um, the way that you create a tab is um, I have a note right here. Um, you need to create you need to create a tab host dot tab spec object, which is um, the the tab builder, and then uh, using this tab builder, you can um, create a tab indicator, a tab content, tab icon, and when you uh, finished, you can just add the tab builder into the tab host with automatically create that tab for you. So um, this is how we do it. Let's create the tab host. Um, get tab host, and this we change this into actually the tab activity. And um, we'll need that that tab spec. So let's create it. Let's call it spec. And then we need main ten. To, um, to communicate with um, 
different activity. So after we finish this, let's create artist tab. Um, the specs we will call us uh, spec. Oh, yeah, spec is equal to my tab post dot new tab spec. Um, the tag is going to be artist. I just and um, let's set the indicator to be others and then set content to be the intent and uh, we need to we need to create the intent object first. So in 10 this this is the artist tab. So we want to call the artist activity. So the way the intent work is um, you will take into the context and the class um, the class of the um, activity to be um, the parameters. So um, what it what it means is set contents will um, take in this intent and when we click on the tab of the uh, appropriate tab it will call that um, activity so in this case it will click into the artist tab it will call the artist activity and um, so we finish with the uh, tab spec let Let's add it to our uh, tab post. So add tab and spec. And that is all for the artist tab. Let's do the same thing for um, the other two. So let's fix this a little bit. Um, let's copy them. They're very similar. So what we need to change is the activity. This is songs activity, and then the um, the tag is going to be songs. We'll display song, and the intent is correct. And the last one is going to be um, albums tag. Paste the same thing. Change this to be albums activity. Albums. Albums and uh, by default, um, it will choose the first tab. It, it, it will open the first tab when you um, first open this layout. You can set it, you know, different different tab to be the default tab. Um, you can do that by using um, a set current tab. So in this case, we chose we choose. Um, Tab number two, which is the tab songs, to be our uh, um, default tab. And before we can actually uh, compile and run it, we need to modify the Android manifest because we're adding two new activity. So we need to uh, register them with the Android manifest. So activity. <coughs> activity. And the name would be um, artist, artist activity. Songs activity and albums activity. <coughs> so the way you name the activity is um, the name of your activity, and then you add a dot in front of it. Which is which means the um, um, which is the path of your package and then dot your um, activity. So once you've done this, then we can um, compile and run it. So let's give it a try. 
it should uh, install and pop up. Yeah, right, there we go. So we actually um, like number in here. I set the current tab to be two, and this um, the result is going to be a third. So I start counting from zero. So uh, art is going to be zero. Song is going to be one. Album is going to be two. And if we click different tabs, you see the content also change with the tab. Okay, we are um, pretty much done here. Um, I will show you another um, very cool feature is you can actually have the icon up here, like my um, like the the first program that I show you. So um, the way you do that is you need to have the icon ready and. Um, Preferably, you should have um, two icons like in here. One is um, for unselected, and the other one is for selected tab. Um, so I'm gonna post this link, um, and then you guys can go ahead and grab this icon. I have them ready in here, so I'm gonna just copy them into my um, my my um, Eclipse project. So uh, let's paste them in here because they are lower uh, resolution so paste and if you open it you have the two tab so it's actually what we have seen in there so one is uh, gray and one is white and um, so after you've done that let's create a folder in our resource folder let's name drawable and in here we will create a, an Android XML to um, handle drawing the icon. So let's call it uh, tab icon. <coughs> so there it is tab icon. Instead of this, we want it to be selector. Selector. So the selector will select the um, appropriate icon for appropriate context. So in this case we have two say one is selected and another one is unselected. So item enjoy stay selected. So if it's equal to true then we will use um, the the great icon. So add drawable Icon tab artist gray and then let's copy this. Let's copy this for the other one. So if it's the, if it's not selected, then we pick the white one. So and um, in order to use the icon in here we change the uh, method set indicator a little bit the set indicator we, it can take into the name of the, the tab and also the icon and before we can actually use it we need to create a resource resource um, variable so get resource And then in here, if we want to call any uh, any drawable image that we have, we can do resource to get drawable, and then we give it the ID, so, um, which is in this case um, the name of the tab icon. And um, that's it. So let's uh, let's use the same icon for all three of them. So that's what we get, and let's run again to see if it uh, will behave as we predict. Okay, now this is our application. See that we have the exact behavior with the very cool icon that changed um, that change every time we click on it. So. Um, that's it everyone. If you have any comments or uh, questions, please post it below. Um, thank you for watching.